So today we're going to be doing a lecture on eukaryotic cells. All right? um, so the first thing we're going to look at um, is the tree of life. A very, very basic tree of life. Um, so we see bacteria and archaea are from the um, prokaryotes and these plant, fungi, and animals are from eukaryotes. Uh, so that's just something to keep straight so we know what eukaryotes actually are. Um, so some of the distinguishing factors of eukaryotes is that they have a nucleus um, and a nucleus is an example of a membrane-bound organelle. So membrane-bound organelle um, is what we're going to look at. So there's quite a few organelles that we will be responsible for the MCAT, um, but we don't need to know that much into detail. But the ones that you need to know are the nucleus, the mitochondria, the ribosomes, um, rough endoplasmic reticulum, smooth endoplasmic reticulum, the Golgi apparatus, and the I just throw in the cytoplasm, it's not a membrane-bound organelle, but we still need to know that. All right? So let's just start with the nucleus. All right? So nucleus houses DNA. All right? That one should be pretty obvious. It, ha it houses your genetic material, um, and it's the site of replication and also transcription. All right? um, and just to throw it out there, translation would occur um, in the cytoplasm. All right? um, so the next one we're going to be looking at is the mitochondria. All right, so what, what is the mitochondria? It's, it's where all our energy is formed. So it's really where that energy production is made. And if we can um, picture a mitochondria, it looks lo something like this. So it has an inner membrane and also an outer membrane. And the inner membrane has all these little, it's a lot bigger than the outer membrane. So imagine if you, if you stuffed it inside of a smaller container, um, it'll have all these loops like this. So the, the, this one is the inner membrane. So this is the inner, this is the outer. All right, so in between the inner and the outer, it's called the intermembrane space. Um, and the very inside is called the matrix. All right? um, so a couple things happen in each of these locations. So in the matrix, we're going to have um, the TCA and the PDC cycle occur. Um, and on the inner membrane, um, that's where the electron transport chain is located. And so the intermembrane is where we get that proton gradient. And that uh, as well has to do with the electron transport chain. All right? um, so that's pretty much all we need to know for the mitochondria. Um, definitely where all our energy will come from. All right? um, so the next one we're going to be looking at are the rough endoplasmic reticulum. So RER is what a lot of people just abbreviate it as. Um, so the RER is um, ribosomes can be found on the on the rough endoplasmic reticulum. So ribosomes are found here. Uh, ribosomes can also be found uh, just free floating in the cytoplasm, and we'll see that uh, we remember that ribosomes produce protein. So ribosomes produce protein production. All right? uh, but the types of proteins that are produced for ribosomes on the RER versus ribosomes um, on the cytoplasm are going to be very very different. All right? Um, so the ones on the, the ribosomes on the rough ER, so the proteins produced on this side, we'll see that these could be either one, they could be secreted, two, they can um, be in the plasma membrane of the cell, they can be integrated into the plasma membrane, or the final one is just obviously they could be integrated into the rough ER itself. Right? Um, so now if we look at the proteins that are made um, in the cytoplasm, so all the ribosomes, if we imagine a cell like this and we have our rough VR right there, and we have all these little ribosomes on there, we can also have um, ribosomes all along the cytoplasm, so all along there, so that's what we're looking at right here. The, the ribosomes free in the cytoplasm. Um, what those can go on to is they can go on to the peroxisome, um, they can go in to produce mitochondria, the nucleus, um, or they can just um, make proteins for the cytoplasm. All right, so that should be um, pretty clear, you know, fa fairly different um, functions for the, the proteins that are produced in these ribosomes. All right? um, and one thing that I need to mention is that these secreted proteins, so they're proteins that are secreted in these little vesicles, so they get put in these vesicles that are made of the, the membrane, um, and then they get packaged off in the Golgi before they get secreted out of the cell. All right? So I think that's a perfect time for us to transition into the, the Golgi apparatus. Okay, so what is the Golgi apparatus? Um, so its function are um, to package 
and send off um, these proteins. See, these proteins that are made um, from these ribosomes in the rough ER. Okay? Um, and also modification of these proteins. And so the next thing we're going to be looking at is the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. Um, this one is not, you know, it's not, has that much function to it um, that we need to know for the MCAT. But pretty much the, the main thing we need to know is detoxification. So detoxification occurs in the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. Um, you know, if you drink a lot of alcohol, your, your endoplasmic reticulum, the smooth part, is going to be uh, very active. So a question that they may be able to ask you is, um, where would we see the most amount of the smooth endoplasmic reticulum? Because we have a ratio between RER and SER. Um, I'm not too sure what the ratio is, but say we had a much higher ratio of SER to RER, where would that occur? Well, if we know it's detoxification, that would definitely have to do with the liver. So that could be a question right there that they may ask you. You know, smooth ER is definitely very prevalent in the liver. And it has a couple other functions, um, you know, such as um, producing in the, in the gonads, uh, but don't worry about those for the MCAT. Um, so the next one we're going to be looking at is the lysosome. Okay, so lysosome is used for degradation. Um, and this is enzymatic degradation by using hydrolase. Uh, so hydrolase um, uses H2O. So what happens is it uses H2O to break a bond and form it like this. Okay? So that's what, that's what a hydrolase does. It, it breaks a bond using water. Okay? Um, and so you can imagine that, I guess you can just think of it like this, that, this hydro, that these hydrolase enzymes um, have a very low pH. So they have a very low pH, but what happens if you have a lysosome that all of a sudden bursts? Okay? Now you have all of these hydrolase enzymes um, free floating, so what happens? Well, this is what happens is that you pretty much in, a, in the inside of a lysosome, you have a pH around, somewhere around, let's just say, 5. Right? So fairly acidic, and outside maybe, let's just say, pH of 7. Right? Once uh, these hydrolases exit the lysosome, they will no longer work. So they'll be deactivated. So I think I, I, I've seen questions similar to that is that, well, will you die if your lysosomes burst or will you get um, you know, severe acidification in your blood or something like that? And the answer is no. Um, they just they, they won't work anymore. And, and because lysosomes are so small compared to the entire cell, um, it will be very dilute. Okay. Um, so the last thing we're going to be looking at are cytoplasm. And remember, these are not organelles. This is just if we imagine we have all these different organelles like the nucleus, the mitochondria, um, you know, maybe the, the rough ER, stuff like that. Um, then all the space in between is called the cytoplasm. Okay? So cytoplasm, some stuff that can occur here is glycolysis. Um, and also we, we get some protein synthesis here. And these would be the free-floating uh, ribosomes that we mentioned before they... Uh, create proteins for the nucleus, the mitochondria, and for peroxisomes, as well as for proteins in the cytoplasm. Um, so, you know, there's obviously a lot more information that we, we can go over for these, um, for these organelles for eukaryotes, but for the MCAT's purpose, you probably don't need to know more than just this.